Hello, my friends. My name is Mo Ehsani, and today I'm going to talk to you about my latest invention, a product called FormaTube. FormaTube is a game-changing technology for the multi-billion dollar concrete forms, concrete repair, and pile encapsulation industries. In this presentation, I will go over a brief background of myself and how the FormaTube was developed, then we'll look at some of the attributes of FormaTube, and then finally we'll look at some applications. I was uh, from about 1973 to 1982, I attended University of Michigan, received bachelor's, master's, PhD, uh, and then in 1982 uh, came to Arizona as a professor of civil engineering in the University of Arizona. In 1987, I pioneered the field of repair and strengthening of structures with fiber reinforced polymers or FRP. And in 1994, I formed this company QuakeRap that focuses on strengthening of structures with these products. A few years later, in 2006, I formed a construction company, FRP Construction. And finally, in 2009, I left the academic life and after 28 years as a professor of engineering and uh, with the title of Professor Emeritus. In the ensuing years, I have developed about 20 different patented technologies for strengthening of structures, primarily with FRPs. And my most recent product is uh, this former tube that we are describing in, in, in this video. Some of the patented products that I have developed, one of them deals, for example, is called sheet pile repair or spire system, which is used for strengthening of sea walls, bulkheads, and sheet piles. This product has been used on several projects throughout the U.S., as well as more recently in a project uh, in Oregon that was specified by the uh, U.S. Coast Guard. Another product that I have developed is called Pile Medic, which is used for strengthening of submerged piles. This product is the best and strongest pile repair and strengthening system on the market. And of course, it is not the least costly product. Some of my sales associates were telling me that there are some projects where the clients will be happy with a less expensive alternative to pile medic. So in response to their demand, I came up with this uh, former two product that, that I have developed in the last couple of years. So let's look at FormaTube and its properties. So FormaTube is made out of these PVC panels, the panels that come in various lengths. And our current product, as you can see here, the width of the panel is about roughly six and a half inches. But the effective area of the panel going from the center of this uh, connector to the other connector is exactly two times pi or 6.28 inches. And I'll tell you the reason for that in a second. These panels, they have a flat surface on one side and on the other side, they have these protruding T's, okay? The panels come in various lengths. The typical standard length is eight foot long, but we can special order these to whatever length you want. If needed, you can spray some lubricant in the uh, connectors to allow them to slide together but as you can see here even in dry shape they snap together and slide pretty easily like so to make uh, a longer pan wider pan once you have created your shape you can slide the last piece between to connect the two ends together or in some cases you can force them with your uh, thumb to snap them together uh, as as you can see here Every panel that we add, it adds exactly two inches to the diameter of the shape that you are making. So if I connect six of these panels together, I get exactly 12 inches, seven gives you 14, eight, 16, and so on. So you have an endless array of diameters to make with, with uh, format two. Uh, also the panels, you, you do not need to necessarily make these in a, a circular uh, shape. Uh, as these panels are fairly flexible, once you connect several of these together, they can take any oval shape or what is called a super ellipse, which is basically a shape somewhere between a square or rectangle and a, and a circular ellipse. So you can, uh, you can make virtually any shape with these as long as you do not have a very sharp edge or corner. 
the standard length of format tube is eight foot long, but you can also special order any length that you want. We find it that shorter pieces like four foot long makes it a lot easier for shipping and handling uh, as well. But one of the advantages of format tube is that even from small pieces, like you see in my hand, I have here a six inch and a 12 inch piece. But the beauty of this is that you can snap these pieces together and, and make, you know, by staggering the joint, you can create a, uh, you can create a segment which is very tall. So here I'm, I'm showing you that how I have taken a six inch, and a 12 inch connected them together to reach an 18 inch section. And as long as the adjacent one joint does not coincide with that point, then we can you know, create very long pieces with these virtually as long of a uh, tube as, as you like. There are two specific applications for this uh, uh, format tube. One of them is as a stay in place one-time use. So this can be used in this application. You would use, uh, wrap this around your pile or column with the, with the protruding T profiles facing the column. Once you have created the shell, you would fill the annular space with concrete or grout, and this stays permanently in place. The exposed surface would be this very nice finished surface, and it, the surface would protect the concrete from intrusion of water or oxygen, so it would prevent it from corrosion, and furthermore, so protect your concrete structure against any acid splash or chemical spray, for example, uh, on bridges that you might have uh, salt spray because of the icing chemicals on the roads or in the mining industry where you could have chemicals in the mines. This becomes an excellent protective layer for the car. Call it. Um, as, so it can be used for pile encapsulation as well as column repair. In the other application, this format tube is used as a replacement for sauna tube. Now, as you know, sauna tube is um, these forms that are made in uh, cardboard and they are a one time use. Once you uh, make your um, column or cast the column, then you have to rip them and throw them, uh, take them to a landfill. Uh, and they're also very bulky. The other advantage, uh, disadvantage of them is that they cannot resist rain. They start to soften if you have rain. So, yeah, but in contrast with this uh, former tube, you can wrap it in this direction to create a cylinder or even any non-cylindrical shape that you want. And then pour the concrete, and once the concrete is cast, you would remove this form and save it to be used in the future, making shapes and molds of same or different diameters. Um, in, in removing these forms, one trick is that if you use them as a removable form, then uh, we recommend that within three or four hours, once the concrete starts to harden a little bit, you uh, grab with a pair of pliers, you grab two of these uh, two of these T profiles, you grab them and just pull them up slightly just to give a little maybe half inch movement to break the bond between the surface and the concrete. Then you can leave your concrete in place and go back two, three days later, remove this and then the other forms just peel off and they can be saved. In the first couple of applications, the, the surface is so uh, smooth that you probably do not need to uh, need to use any oil forms, but but it is okay if you know in subsequent uses if you wish you can apply or spray some oil form on these things so that they come off uh, more easily. A question that often comes up is that how do you create an annular space around an existing column or pile as a standoff distance between this former tube and the existing pile? So. You can do that. The cheap way would be to buy a piece of PVC pipe or other materials like that and create that. Or through my company, pilemedic.com, we also have developed these spaces. As I show you in here, these spaces come in different shapes and sizes. And in this case, as you can see here, you can pass a zip tie through several of these and snap them around the column and then create the exact spacing that you want. So your jacket would be wrapped around here, would be touching it, you know, would be coming in contact like so. 
and then that defines the annular space from here to here is the annular space between these two. And also, these can be, if you have a square column, for example, these can be uh, put on the corner of the column like so to give you an annular space uh, around the corners. Uh, these come in various shapes and sizes. Uh, you can see I have placed these four of these former two panels around this small diameter uh, pile and the spacings, you know, define the spaces define the space between the pile and the other surface. You can wrap it in this fashion, as I said before. This would be a one-time use that then the form would stay in place. Or you can turn it the other way uh, around and it would be reusable and removable after you have used it. In this other arrangement, I am showing the protruding shapes on the outside. The smooth surface is inside so once this is cast and the concrete is cured then of course you can remove the forms and use it over and over you may find that in many of the applications the overhead pressure of the grout that you place in here may cause these to bulge out so we recommend that every foot to 18 inches you temporarily put a ratchet strap on the outside of this form and tighten it so that most of the hydrostatic pressure of the grout will be taken by that ratchet strap. Those ratchet straps are reusable, of course, and can be used over and over. I invite you to visit our website and become more familiar with this product, where we have the product data sheet as well as some other technical information available. There are also videos of some of our projects on that uh, website, as well as a shopping cart that you can go to that order these products directly from that website. We look forward to working with you on your future projects. Thank you for your attention.